Now, the English Democrats are holding their annual conference in Leicester this weekend. The party is the only nationalist party in England, and they're campaigning for a referendum on English independence. Well, joining me now uh, from Leicester is Robin Tilbrook, the party's chairman. Uh, Robin, first off, many people will be saying, who are the English Democrats? Well, we've been around now for 15 years. We've been campaigning uh, about uh, England and fairness for England, and we've been doing that now, as I say, for about 15 years. We've probably put out uh, about 40 million leaflets uh, in the various elections that we've stood in, um, and we've, in some elections we've done all right. We won the uh, Doncaster mayoralty a few years back, but um, uh, we, need a, we basically need a lot more money and a lot more resources, and then we can really make a difference. So where do you stand then on um, things such as uh, Brexit? What did you make of Boris Johnson's article today? Um, well, I've been busy, obviously, with the conference. I'm afraid I haven't read Boris Johnson's article today, but um, uh, we, we, did, we were supporting uh, Brexit. Uh, I think uh, one of the things that, that uh, all the commentators had noticed rather belatedly was that people who identify themselves as being English are um, predominantly likely to support um, Brexit. Um, do you and know we what? were no exception. I have, a, I have a slight problem with getting my head around um, English because I am British and many people like myself would be thinking, well, where do I stand when it comes to the English Democrats? Well, um, I mean, you, you're, you're asking a good question there because uh, national identity in England is certainly um, a, uh, a, a vexed question. Um, and uh, we, what's happening in England is that people are moving towards being English only. The 2011 census result uh, had over the whole country um, over 50 percent, uh, 54 percent, saying that, um, that they were English only and not British at all. Uh, and um, if, you, if you came out of London, it was probably more like 80 per cent. OK, so... so um, where, and that, that, that puts us in a rather similar sort of um, trajectory as to where Scotland is already. OK, so <coughs> let's just look at um, EU where nationals Scottish living... Where themselves as Scottish. Let's look at, very quickly, EU nationals living in the UK, but once we leave the EU, yes. what happens to them? Yes. Well, I mean, at that point, they will be citizens of a foreign country, won't they? And um, uh, what citizens of foreign countries have to do when they want to go and live somewhere else, same as we would if we wanted to go and live in another foreign country, is they have to get visas. And um, I don't think there should be any difference. OK. Right, Robin Tilbrook, fortunately, we've run out of time. But thank you very much for your time.